when somebody you know figures out that they want to get married or you know their parents decide that this is the right age for them to get married they start sharing this information with their immediate family and really close friends where they say hey i'm looking to get my son or daughter married or i'm in the market right now you know uh, so could you suggest any suitable matches so you start with your immediate family then you maybe expand to a community broker once you've exhausted all of these close personal networks is when you get on to a website people don't trust these websites enough for it to be the first step um in finding themselves a partner or finding a partner for for their children right so these are people who have spent some energy um and you know spent some will power in finding a partner outside these websites so when they come on to these websites they're already kind of a little bit tired right there is an initial honeymoon period of the first two weeks where they're excited to explore this new space they're excited to see that there is a lot more choice that they can kind of look at immediately relevant or not is a different question but you know the first two weeks um you know they have the energy they have the patience to look through every single profile in detail but after that point they are so exhausted that it is almost like a chore um people are looking at anywhere between 50 to 100 profiles on a daily basis which means they're not spending any more than you know 5 to 10 seconds um on each profile So the way this works is when you go on our profile the first thing you look at is a picture right that's just how the website is designed that's just how uh, our mind has been conditioned to look at prospects so you look at a picture if the picture is great you're not thinking twice you just almost barely glance at the other logistical information that is important for matching you know age height location etc and you send an interest or you accept an interest right if the picture is average then you read the profile a little bit more in detail because you want something to help make a decision when it's a maybe you want more information to figure out whether this is tending towards a yes or tending towards a no right so that's when what you've written about yourself or what you've written in the bio section becomes really important right assuming somebody reads your bio what is the information that you need to put in your bio uh, so that people are able to understand and make a decision on whether um, they they want to have a conversation with you or not you need to first get into the mindset of the person who's reading your bio this is a person who doesn't trust the platform this is a person who um, doesn't look at the platform as 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 a first step so you want to be as brief as possible because they have a very low uh, attention span because they're already tired but at the same time when you're being brief you want to build trust so how do you be brief and build trust you have to be really precise in describing who you are long stories about oh you know i don't really know how to describe myself in 30 words but i'm still going to try or um i am so cynical i don't believe in this process but i'm still going to try all of this build up that people give is really is really irrelevant is really a uh, Uh, a waste of space instead i would suggest focusing on just describing yourself right things that are really important to build trust who are you where are you based where were you born where were you raised what do you do where were you educated descriptive concrete information about where you went to college where you work now what do you do is really useful in 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 building trust so start with that and then go on to describing yourself in more abstract terms in terms of what is your nature like what are your hobbies what are your interests how do you like to spend your weekends or how do you like to spend your time like nuances like that then include a bit about your family because a lot of times this is parents who are looking at your profile or people who have that lens right where they say okay i want to meet somebody who has had a similar upbringing like me so they'd like to relate 
to your family in some sense. So you want to say a line or two about your family. What do your parents do? Or like, where do they live? Or like, what are they like? What kind of values does your family, including yourself, hold? Right? Although you may or may not live with them after you get married, it helps build a sort of familiar context for your prospective partner to relate to. Now, the other thing that you want to mention in the bio section, I know there is a separate section for this, but it is really useful when you put this in the bio section because, you know, when people are reading, it is very easy for them to engage and relate to. You want to add a line or two about what you're looking for in a prospective partner. If you say, hey, I'm looking for somebody who is smart, somebody who is, um, you know, has got interests outside of work, somebody who is willing to uh, relocate to this place or something like that. It will immediately catch somebody's attention if they can relate to it. So these are things that you actually want to include in your bio and you want to make sure this is not more than six or seven lines. So it's really important to convey um, this message as quickly as possible while building trust and also not wasting words on things that aren't too relevant. And please do not use generic lines like with age and time, you know, maturity and something else has become a part of my personality. I know that there is a template somewhere and a lot of people use this, but you know, it, it adds no value to your profile. So avoid saying really generic stuff that makes no sense to anybody, right? I know that some of you feel like, oh, if somebody does not even take the time or does not even have the patience to get to know who I am, how are they going to be interested in building a relationship? It's not that they don't have time or patience to get to know who you are as a person, but you've got to, you know, understand the context in which they're reading this. They're looking at 50 to 100 profiles a day, right? Now, you want to be able to catch their attention. Once you've caught their attention, they may be truly interested in getting to know who you are and they may spend all their time getting to know who you are, right? You want to get to that place, which is why you want to make your bio as precise and attention grabbing as possible, yeah? Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there are tons of videos about love, dating, relationships, marriage. Um, you can do so by clicking the bell icon below and if you have any questions, comments, anything at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer.